Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing angles, but more specifically, complementary and supplementary angles. Before we dive in, let's review everything we know about an angle. So an angle is formed when two lines meet at a shared point, like this. An angle is measured in degrees, which are represented by this symbol shown here. There are four types of angles you should know, especially for the rest of this video. We have an acute angle, a right angle, an obtuse angle, and a straight angle. An acute angle is any angle less than 90 degrees. A right angle has to be exactly 90 degrees, no more, no less. An obtuse angle is any angle greater than 90 degrees. And a straight angle has to be exactly 180 degrees, forming a straight line. All right, now that we remember our different types of angles, let's get to our main topic, complementary and supplementary. A complementary angle is created when two angles add up to make 90 degrees, or a right angle. Take, for example, these two angles. One is 40 degrees and the other is 50 degrees. These two create a complementary angle because they add up to make 90. Notice how when you put the two angles together, they also create a right angle, 90 degrees. Now let's look at these two angles. Here's a 47 degree angle and here's a 43 degree angle. Do these two create a complementary angle? Yes, because 47 plus 43 equals 90. Let's look at this 26 degree angle. What other angle measurement would I need to add to 26 to make a complementary angle? Let's create an equation to help us figure this out. We have 26 plus some number k equals 90, because to make a complementary angle, two angles have to add together to equal 90. If we subtract 26 from both sides, we will isolate our variable by itself to get the angle measurement we need. So 26 minus 26 equals zero, and 90 minus 26 equals 64. The angle measurement we need to make a complementary angle with 26 is a 64 degree angle. Okay, now that we know what a complementary angle is, let's talk about supplementary angles. A supplementary angle is made up of two angles added together to make 180 degrees, or a straight line. Take for instance these two angles, 60 degrees and 120 degrees. When added together, 60 degrees plus 120 degrees equals 180. This means these two angles are supplementary. Notice how the two angles make a straight line together? Okay, now let's take a look at one more example. Here's a 75 degree angle and an 85 degree angle. Are these supplementary angles? No, when you add 75 and 85, it equals 160 not 180. So then what angle measurement with 75 would make a supplementary angle? Let's turn it into an equation and solve. 75 plus some number x equals 180. Subtract 75 from each side to isolate x. So 75 minus 75 makes a zero pair and 180 minus 75 equals 105. So to have a supplementary angle with 75 degrees, we have to add a 105 degree angle. All right, quick review. Complementary angle is two angles added together to make a 90 degree angle. A supplementary angle is two angles added together to make a 180 degree angle. And if all else fails, just know that the C in complementary can turn into a nine for 90 degrees, and the S in supplementary can turn into an eight for 180 degrees. Until next time, guys.